to my kitchen. So for this week's video, I really wanted to do something that was sweet and fun that you could add onto the top of your cake. So for this week's video tutorial, I'm gonna be showing you how to make this really cute elephant cake topper. Also, don't forget that if you enjoy this video, you can subscribe to the Cakes Fun and YouTube channel. You can also hit the notification bell next to the subscribe button, and this will just alert you every time we upload a new video. Okay, let's get started. So the things that we're gonna need in order to make our elephant cake topper is, first of all, I've got my fondant. Now for the main body of my elephant, I've mixed some fondant with some gum paste, or in this case, some Squires floor paste. And I've got quite a large ball. This one weighs 140 grams. So I've mixed 100 grams of fondant with 40 grams of gum paste, and then I've just colored it in this light gray color. And all the gum paste is gonna do is just make it slightly more firmer so that it will keep its shape when we put it all together. I've got a very small amount of black fondant and a small amount of white fondant. I've got a cocktail stick, my rolling pin, my Dresden tool and my craft knife, some edible tints just in a gold, a dusky pink and a shadow gray. I've got some rejuvenating spirit to make my gold into a paint and my edible glue. Okay, so I'm starting with a ball of the lighter gray fondant and this is just slightly less than half of what we started with. And this ball weighs around 60 grams. Now I'm just rolling this into the palm of my hand, just making it completely smooth, getting rid of any creases. I then want to flatten it down slightly and taper in that top edge. Now taking my little finger, push a line in. So we get a nice dent, which is about halfway through the ball. Then want to start pinching that bottom just to bring out this trunk. I'm just using my fingers, just pinching that fondant. Now I'm making sure that I smooth it down where it comes out. And I just wanna continue on so that it's wider where his trunk joins his face and just starts to get a lot thinner. Now I want his trunk to be around an inch and a half in length and I wanna pull his trunk down. So I'm just gonna push my finger underneath. Now I want to accentuate where it comes out from his face. So I'm just using my fingers, just going round to create a small crease at the top of his trunk. Now at the base of his trunk, I haven't fully gone into a point, but I'm gonna take this and I want to turn it back on itself, like so. Now just on one side, I'm gonna bring my Dresden tool just up slightly, just to give us the top of his mouth. So he's got a little grin. And again with my dressing tool, about half a centimeter from the top of his trunk, I'm gonna put some slightly curved lines across. So I'm just adding three in there. And just on the side of his trunk. Now for his eyes, I wanna come up about half a centimeter from the start of his trunk and I want them to be quite wide, so about an inch apart. Taking my dressing tool, I'm just pushing it in, just creating some ovals, which are gonna be his eye sockets. Now, using a small amount of the black fondant, create two very small ovals. They're exactly the same size. And once we've got these, I'm gonna drop them inside those holes that we made, flatten those down, and this is gonna give us his eyes. Now, taking a very small amount of white, I'm just carefully taking it off to really teeny pieces, place these in the corner of his eyes. Uh, for his eyebrows, I'm just putting two little small marks above his eyes. Now I'm mixing a small amount of the gray fondant with the black, just to give me a darker gray. I want to roll this out and taper down both edges so we get two points. I can then trim them off. So they're about four millimeters in length. Now just on the edge, I'm gonna push on that just so we lose that cut mark and with a bit of edible glue just pop those into place now before i work on his ears i'm going to give him a small tuft of hair at the top of his head so i've got a very small ball of the gray fondant which i'm going to roll out and taper down on one side that comes into a point and i'm going to make three of those lay them all together and trim them off you might need a small amount of edible glue or some water stick those 
so that they're going in one direction. For his ears, I've got another ball of fondant, and this one is just under an inch in diameter and weighs seven grams. Now I'm gonna roll this out again so that we've got no marks. Slightly flatten that down, push on the bottom. What I want to have is a disc which is around an inch and a half across and just has a slightly wider band at the top and just tapers down. So I'm going to take a small rolling pin and this one measures around an inch at the end and I'm going to pop that on just keeping an overhang at the top and the sides and then work to make this slightly bigger just keeping it slightly thicker on that top edge. Now, slightly curved up instead of being completely flat, take my craft knife and just cut it directly in half. And this is gonna give us two ears, which are exactly the same size. Now, taking the first one just on that bottom, I'm gonna round that off slightly. Now, where it's slightly wider at the top, I'm gonna turn that over. I'm gonna do exactly the same with the other one. Now, just coming under where it's been turned over, I'm just gonna put a couple of marks coming down and apply some edible glue down that straight edge. Now, I'm leaving the bottom slightly so that it will come slightly away from his head. Stick that just on the side, making sure the top is just slightly folded over and just use my dresden tool to make sure that's pushed all the way up. Now you might want to use a small piece of just leftover fondant and I've got some white here which I'm going to pop underneath his ear just to hold that in place until that glue is dried and do exactly the same to the other side. Now just before I leave his head to dry so that we can work on his body, I'm going to take a cocktail stick and underneath his trunk I'm just going to push that in slightly so that we can join this to the rest of his body. Now, for the top of his head, I'm gonna add a little crown. So I've just got a small amount of white fondant and I've just popped it onto this non-slip mat so that you can see it against the white surface. Roll this out until it's a few millimeters in thickness. You then want to cut a strip, which is just over a centimeter. And I'm gonna trim that off both ends. This is about an inch and a half. Now, cut out some triangles on the top. So we've just got two smaller sections on either end and three full triangles. I'm just going to pop some edible glue just onto one of the edges. Now you could wrap this around a paintbrush. I'm just using the end of my little finger and just bring those sides together. Pinching that top. I just want to turn points of my crown just out slightly and I'm going to leave this to one side so they all dry so that we can paint it in gold and add it onto our elephant at the end. Okay, so his body is made up of five pieces. I've got a larger ball. This piece is just slightly smaller than what we used for his head. So this one is around 50 grams. I've got two balls that are around an inch in diameter, which are around nine grams each. And these are gonna be for his arms. And I've got two slightly smaller balls, both measuring seven grams each and these are going to be for his feet. So starting with his body I'm going to roll out the larger ball and just slightly taper that down on one side to give us a cone shape. I can then push that against my work surface to give me a flat bottom. Now we want the front to remain a bit flatter than the back so I'm just running my fingers along that front and just pushing it down so we haven't got so much of a point on the top and this is going to be where his head sits. On the side, just where his legs are going to come from, I'm going to push two slightly small dents and again the exact same thing just on the front and just pop that to one side. Now starting with his right leg as you look at him, I'm going to take one of the smaller balls of fondant, roll that out and taper that down. So his legs going to end up just over an inch in length. On the bottom, I'm gonna push this against the work surface so it's slightly flatter on the bottom. Use my Dresden tool just to push in. I can then place it against his body and just push that onto the side. So we want it coming out from the front. Where his leg comes up from his body, I'm also just gonna push a dent just with my Dresden tool so that it looks like 
his leg is bent like so. Now on the front of his foot, I just want to add some details. We want to add in what looks like toe nails. So I'm just using my Dresden tool, just going in, add in some semicircles, like so. Do exactly the same on the other side. So taking the smaller ball, just tapering down one side, just stopping before it gets into a point, flattening down that end, using my Dresden tool just to go in and this one is just going to go on the other side. Now, if you're finding that it's not sticking very well, you might just want to add some water or some edible glue. I'm going to pop that into place just so it matches the one on the other side. And again, just coming up from the bottom of his body, just adding in a little bend mark. So we just have his legs coming out from the side of his body. Now we're going to add his arms just coming down from the top onto the front. Now again, I've just got a ball of fondant. This one is slightly bigger than we used for his feet. And I'm gonna taper these down, but come more into a point than we did with the feet. Now you want these long enough that they will start at the top of the body and come all the way down. I'm just gonna flatten that down slightly. Now, just as we did with the feet, I'm gonna push the bottom just onto my work surface to flatten that off slightly. And using my Dresden tool, just push in the shape of the foot. Now this is actually gonna be on the back. So I'm gonna turn this round. you just see those marks just coming through. And before I add it on, I'm gonna draw back in three of those nails. Now I'm gonna curve this round and this is gonna fit just on the front. So I'm popping a small amount of edible glue in, push that on. So it looks like his two hands are gonna curve in towards his body. Now coming up around a centimeter, just push in. It looks like we've got a bit of a crease just on his arm. And I'm gonna do exactly the same for the other side. And just as we did, on his trunk, a few small lines just on the front of his leg. Now I can use the end of my dress and tool again, just to make sure that fondant pushed into place. And there we have his body. Now you wanna make sure that you leave a space just at the top, because this is where his trunk is gonna fit into. So now we've got his head and his body, I'm gonna add on some final touches, but I'm also gonna leave them, especially his body, to harden slightly before I add on his head. And the reason for this is because his head is quite large, we don't want the body to collapse under the weight. Now I'm gonna start by adding some detail with some edible tint. So first of all, taking a really small amount of shadow gray, add some of this inside his ears, just to add some shadow. So especially going where it's creased and doing exactly the same on the other side. I'm also gonna add a small amount just where his trunk turns up and on his body, where we've got those creases along where his arms join, just on those creases on his legs and just over the front where we added in nails. Now with a slightly smaller brush I've got some dusky pink tint and I'm going to make sure a lot of the excess is off of my brush and just coming down where his cheeks would be. For the small crown that we made I'm going to mix some royal gold edible tint with some rejuvenating spirit by Sugar Flare and then add this onto my little crown. I'm going to make sure that I paint this on the outside and also the inside, like so, and just leave that to dry. Now, once your body has firmed up slightly, but before it has dried completely, I'm gonna pop a small amount of edible glue just on that top, and just pull down my elephant head, just so that the trunk is just sitting in that gap between his arms. I've then got his crown, so I'm gonna pop a small amount of edible glue just onto that bottom edge and just stick that in place between his hair and his ear. 
So here we have the finished elephant cake topper. Now this would be perfect maybe for a baby shower, a child's birthday or even a christening cake. I really hope you've enjoyed this video tutorial and will enjoy making your own version of this elephant. If you have as always don't forget to give this video a like so that I know and let me know in the comments below if you'd like to see more character cake toppers. You can also let me know what kind of toppers you'd like to see. And lastly I just wanted to say wherever Wherever you are in the world thank you so much for watching and I hope that you're safe and well and your families are too so until next time bye